Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the Product Specialist in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Keystone Springdale Summerlin 2960BH. It's a nice little bunkhouse model. This particular unit is in the Kona interior. Let's start off over on the kitchen here. Uh, so you'll see you do have a little bit of prep space. You have some space off to the side here, then a little bit back here as well. But they did give you a nice large sink as well as the three burner cooktop. You'll see it is a single bowl, which personally I really like because I a lot of times will use residential pots and pans and it's a lot easier to fit in a large sink like this. And then with the high rise pull out faucet, it also makes it very easy to wash and rinse dishes. Then as I mentioned over to this side here, you have your three burner Atwood cooktop. The front one is high output. And then you also have the oven underneath. So if we take a quick look at storage underneath, you see you have a little cutout here. Some uh, storage directly underneath the sink. You will notice you do have enough room to put a trash can there, which is nice. A drawer right over here, full extension ball bearing drawer. Additional cutout right over there. And then if we take a look over here, as soon as you walk in, you have more storage. I'll open the door up for you, see you have good storage space there, as well as two large full extension ball bearing uh, drawers right over here. If we take a quick look uh, at the storage up top, you'll see you have two doors here. Nice brush nickel pulls, by the way. They're really easy to hold on to. They're nice and smooth. They don't hold your hands or anything, uh, which I know sounds silly, but there's some out there that just aren't very easy to open. As far as electrical outlets, you do have two different electrical outlets here in the kitchen as well. You'll see you have one right there on the wall. The other one is tucked away right underneath the cabinet here. So that way you have a couple different places to put your blender, coffee maker, toaster, whatever else you need to use. LED light here in the kitchen as well to make it nice and bright uh, at nighttime. And then also uh, the LED lights don't use near the power and don't put out near the heat. And you also have a window right there to let, uh, let in a lot of natural light during the day and give you a view out to your campsite as well. You see your uh, tank monitoring panel right there. Nice tank monitor so that way you can see all your levels, easy to use, water pump right below it. Then right up top is your suburban water heater. This one does uh, run off both gas and electric and you can turn both of those on at the same time for faster recovery. You also have a microwave in this unit as well as a fully functional hood with a light and fan. Over to the side, here's the Dometic fridge freezer combo. You'll see it has plenty of space. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Uh, let's take a quick look over at the super slide here. Uh, you notice you have a large dinette. Again, this is that Kona interior. You can easily fit four people here. If you need to squeeze in three on each side, you can do that too. It'll be a little tight, but it is manageable. Also, this drops down into a bed. So if you need the additional sleeping space, all you have to do is remove the legs right here from the flanges uh, right here in the table, as well as the flanges on the floor. And then this table will sit along the rails. You see you have rails on both sides of the dinette. These back cushions will then go on top of the table and that will create your sleeping surface. Uh, now it's not a huge bed, so you know adults probably won't be able to fit there very comfortably unless they're really short. Um, but for kids, you know, it's a great extra bed or if you have a pack and plate or something you need to set up on top of there, uh, it's an easy way to make that up as well. You also notice you have windows all the way around, really let in a lot of natural light, get that airflow coming through here too. And then right in between the dinette and the couch, you see you have dual USB ports. So if you need to plug in any electronic devices, you have uh, the access to that right there. Now this is a jackknife sofa. Uh, big advantage of jackknife is the fact you get lots of storage underneath. Um, and you know, this is a great place to put your, bed, your bedding, your pillows, your sheets, things like that. The bed itself, again, won't be as large as like a trifold or traditional pullout, uh, but you do get that extra storage space. So again, kind of same principle here. Uh, you know, it's probably a little small for an adult, but for kids it works great. The other thing I like about this particular jackknife sofa is this right here. The center section actually drops down, gives you a nice little armrest as well as a dual cup holder there. Kind of gives you more of that feel of theater seating. Um, you know, I just like the fact it does that, especially if it's just two of you. It just makes it uh, feel a little more uh, residential. If you take a look up top, you see you have some additional storage going across the top here. Now one of my other uh, favorite parts that I really like, and the Summerlin line has done this on a number of units, is this right up front. This is great. Um, your entertainment center you'll see is right here. 
Uh, this is where your TV will go, multimedia center right down below. This uh, essentially is your radio, controls the speakers inside and outside, and it is Bluetooth capable. You have some decent storage both above and below. You can see that right there. And then, as I mentioned, the storage here across the top, four doors, nice storage all the way across. But the thing I really like about it is this. Right as soon as you come in the door, you have this nice coat hook right here. So you can take off your jacket, your sweatshirt, your raincoat, whatever it may be. You have a place to hang that up at. And then right down below, you not only do you have the shoe storage, which is awesome, because that way, you know, you come in, you want to kick your shoes off, throw them underneath there, you have a spot to put them. But then you also have this nice bench seat. You know, uh, when I was in my 20s, didn't have a problem putting my shoes on standing up. The older I get, I find it a lot easier to be able to sit down, put my shoes on. It just makes life a lot simpler. And you know, the cool thing about this too, let's say you fill this up, you know, these are the shoes you mainly wear. Remember, you have this storage right over here by the door. You can throw your rain boots or whatever else right in that storage there. Uh, so just, you know, lots of different storage solutions uh, in the 2960. The bathroom of the 2960 features a foot flush lever toilet. Right next to that, you have your sink top and vanity. You notice you have a big countertop in here, a little bit of storage there underneath, and a nice cubby hole. Directly above the sink is your electrical outlet, so you can plug in you know, your hair dryer, curling iron, things like that. And then yet above that, you have a nice mirrored medicine cabinet with an LED light there on the ceiling. Over to the side, you have a tub shower, so if you do have little kids and you still want to be able to give them a bath, you can do that in the 2960. You also notice you have your hand wand there, some shelving, and then up top you have your vent fan to quickly help moisture escape. The bunk room in the 2960 may not be huge, but it does do a good job of utilizing the space you have. If you take a look at both the bunks, you will see they are nice and wide, so that way if you do want to put two kids into a bunk, you're able to do that 300 pound weight limit here on these double bunks. You'll also notice uh, right here on both bunks you have a nice foot locker. This opens up, you have excellent storage there. Same thing with the one right here on the bottom. You'll also see you have an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug in any electronic devices, you have a place to do that. Right up top you have a vent. So if you don't want to run the AC and you want to get some uh, nice ventilation through here, you can open that vent up and then open the windows up right on the other side. There are two windows, one on the top as well as one on the bottom bunk. You also have TV connection in the corner. So if you do want to hook up TV, uh, you have a place which you can do that. And that way both bunks are able to see that. And then directly behind me here is your wardrobe space. This is something I love when manufacturers put into a bunk unit. Gives you a spot to hang the kids clothes. If you want to put some folded clothes and stuff down here, you can do that as well. If you take a look at the bedroom, you'll see you have a walk around queen size bed. On both sides, you also have a large nightstand with electrical outlets. So if you need to plug in cell phones or CPAP machines, or maybe you have a small dog that's traveling with you or a cat that you want to sleep next to you, you certainly have space for it here in the 2960. Also right off to this side, you'll see you actually have a place for your dirty laundry there. Uh, you can see to the outside because the door to the pass-through is open. So basically what you do is you open up the pass-through, you put a laundry basket down there. When you're done, you just take your clothes off at night, toss it right down into the dirty clothes. A uh, pretty convenient spot, helps keep the bedroom clean. You'll also see on both sides here, you have nice hanging storage. And then you have a shelf going all the way across the top with an LED light right here underneath. You'll also notice you have windows on both sides, so you can get nice cross ventilation, and the one side is an emergency exit. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the 2960BH. Starting right up front, this unit does come with a power tongue jack that makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Just flip of a switch here to raise and lower the tongue. You'll also see you have a light right here on the front. That way, if you need a little extra visibility at night, that will provide it. Right behind there, you have two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover. It's very easy to get into those tanks. Just undo the two thumb screws here on either side, lift up the door, and that will give you access into those tanks. And then behind that, you see you have rails here for your battery. And coming up the front is black diamond plating. This helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. So we come around to the side, open up the front storage here. If you take a look in there, you'll see the nice big pass-through storage. You do have a wide door on this side as well, so if you need to put 
you know, some bigger chairs or grills, things like that in there, you're able to fit it. There's also an LED light in there in case you have to access your pass through at night. If we take a quick look underneath, you will notice this unit also has power stabilizer jacks. This makes it again just one step easier to set up and tear down your RV. The controls for it are right here. This front one controls your front two jacks. There will be another control in the back that will control your rear two jacks. You see this unit's also equipped with a power awning. Just touch a button to have that roll out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And then underneath, sewn into the awning fabric itself, is an LED light strip. Uh, that's really nice because that way it doesn't matter if you have the awning rolled up like it is right now or fully extended, you can still use those lights. And the natural angle makes it uh, point down at your campsite rather than shoot out at your neighbors. Getting into the 2960 is quite simple. You see you have foldable triple steps here. Uh, having that third step is really nice. That way it's nice and low to the ground. It makes it a lot easier to enter and exit, especially if you have bad knees. And then you have the grab handle here as well for a little extra grip. Right outside here is your electrical outlet. If you need to plug anything in, this is the place you do it. If we take a quick look back up top underneath that awning, you also see there are two outside speakers. Uh, now those are connected to that multimedia center inside, and as I mentioned, that unit is Bluetooth capable. Water heater's hanging out right there. As I mentioned, that is the Suburban. Does run off both gas and electric. Right here, your uh, tires are nitrogen filled, so that way hopefully they'll hold those pressures longer. Definitely recommend checking your tire pressure every time before you take any RV out on a trip. And then you also have easy lube axles. Uh, that way it's a little bit easier on the maintenance side of things. There's a little greaser down there you can use, uh, you know, rather than having to constantly repack the bearings. Right here's your outside shower. Uh, I really like when manufacturers are able to put this on the camp side. Normally it's on the off door side of the RV or sometimes on the back, but I like it right here. It gives you nice, easy water access. If you need to wash off your feet, wash the dog, maybe you're going fishing, you know you need to wash your hands after you clean the fish, whatever it may be. I do just like having that here. It's very accessible. And that does, uh, again, have both hot and cold water access. So we make our way to the back, as I mentioned, power stabilizer jacks right down below there. And then right up above, take a look at this. Not only do you have that huge front pass-through storage, but you have a second pass-through storage here in the back. So if you're looking for a bunk model with a lot of storage, this is certainly a great option. You saw the storage inside and you have a ton of storage here on the outside. Speaking of, let's take a quick walk around to the back. You also have this space. Uh, this is great, nice big extra storage area. It's perfect for like pool noodles, chairs. Uh, if you have you know, tools and stuff you wanna hang, you can do that too. In order to access this, you do have to take the spare tire off. Um, I'll open it up a little bit just to kind of show you here. You can kind of peek in there. Granted, it's, uh, again, I didn't open it a ton because I'd have to move, uh, again, I'd have to remove that spare tire, but at least that way you can see in there a little bit, just kind of get, get an idea for the general overall size. But as I mentioned, this one just has a ton of outside storage here. It does come with your uh, mount for a grill. It doesn't come with the grill itself. You have to provide that one on your own, but they did give you the mount. Uh, if you don't want to use it, you can always take it off, but I like the fact it's at least there. That way you can put your grill there, swing it on around, and you will see right underneath there is a propane quick connect. So uh, that way you can, you know, the grill will use the big uh, 20 pound bottles rather than the small little green ones that you'd normally use. Spare tire riding right back here. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, uh, you know that it's riding right back there for you and it is in good shape. You'll also see right in top at the center there, this one is prepped for a backup camera. So if you want a backup camera, it's a lot easier to have installed. It's basically a plug and play um, installation, meaning that it'll be a lot cheaper for you. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Keystone Springdale Summerlin 2960BH. This one has the Kona interior. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.